This is William Kimberley from Race Tech Television, interviewing Mike Gascoigne, very well known in Formula One circles. Mike, what brings you to Silverstone for a Formula Student? Uh, well, I've always been a great supporter of Formula Student. I think it's a fantastic thing um, for people at university to be doing, uh, encouraging design and, and learning all those project management skills that are so important. I mean, when we get uh, applications from people um, to come into Formula One, it, it's really not a big question about who's got the right academic abilities. The question is, can they rise to the management challenge that they're going to have in Formula One? And of course, it's people who are in this sort of environment that are actually proving to us if they're successful that they can. So this is the sort of thing we absolutely look for in students. And I, when my days at Jordan, we used to use this as our uh, graduate recruitment program and sponsor. Really? Yeah, we used to sponsor three um, uh, at Imperial, Southampton, and Cambridge. We used to sponsor three Formula Student uh, teams and take the pick of those guys. And that was our graduate recruitment so um, but it's really the key is that it, it gives a chance to the students to demonstrate their management ability they all have the academic ability what's key is the management ability it's very interesting that I didn't know you've been involved with former student for quite so long really in the very early days when it was very much more basic than it is now because looking around the paddock they're quite some of the teams are really quite sophisticated aren't they they've got good backing they've got good everything about it is really quite professional is that something you welcome or uh, absolutely because uh, as I say, when you know all these kids will have straight A's and they'll all be very good. Yeah. And what when you want to take the top people, you want to know that they're going to stand out from the crowd. And it's the ones that are doing this well and and, and stepping up to the plate and proving they can run programs, proving they can organise themselves, proving they can organise teams and manage people. Um, that's the absolute key in a sport like Formula One, where yes, you've got two drivers at the pinnacle you've got technical directors and that but you're managing a team of a thousand people or, or 500 people and it's the ability to do that that, that makes you stand out and that's what this um, program can give an employer to show that these people have that ability and it's absolutely key yeah. And the other thing about this competition, the, the rules are quite open, so you can walk around the paddock and see such a huge variety of cars. Again, as a designer and engineer, is that something that you appreciate? Yeah, because innovation, I mean, it's you talk about management and all that, but it, it, it's not, although it's a formula, it, it's not a formula, it's yeah. about innovation. Yes. It's about engineering, and engineering is about innovation. You look at the great engineers over the years, you know, they, they did things that no one thought was possible. And I think, again, this shows that, that people have those skills there will be the mavericks that come up with different ideas and you want to identify that as well and and give them a, a stage and a chance and this 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 competition allows that sure and two weeks ago you were at Le Mans and we saw um, hybrids win the race and we see now hybrid class in former student which I believe is actually growing in importance. Can any views on that? Well I think hybrids you know they are going to be the future I think ultimately fossil fuel is going to be around a long time and very clean efficient fossil fuels yeah. are going to be the future in, in over the next 10 20 years of the, you know things that are far more efficient than you know uh, 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 electricity power station in China burning yes. coal you know a, yeah. a modern you know yeah. a modern small turbocharged en petrol engine is far more efficient so but obviously those hybrids and that they will be more and more uh, important we're looking at them at Caterham in yeah. sports cars electronic axles to, to, to boost power torque that they're, they're going to be the future so I think that and, and also that green sustainable technology is something very much formal students should be embracing in this day and age when encouraging students and the young into engineering is this one route that they can uh, follow it, 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 it gets their enthusiasm early as it were well it gives them a very tangible project um, and it's uh, it goes beyond just academic learning and for us when we uh, are interviewing young students or young engineers to join the team then a, a background in former student is always worthwhile we always know that they've uh, uh, they've experienced the challenge of, of putting together one of these cars yes it's all about project engineering time management team working with the team and so on I guess really that's what it is all about yeah I mean the disciplines are, are, are you know, widespread. They've got to produce a commercial program, they've got to raise the money, they've got to design the car, they've got to make it, they've got to operate as a mini race team, 
and and there's so many facets to it that uh, it really does give them a, a great experience in um, in a very competitive environment and uh, that tends to mimic the world. <laughs> and as team principal, of course, you've been active. You put your money where your mouth is, it were. You do encourage young students and into your team to uh, for as under undergraduates. I understand. We do. We have a, a reasonable intake of undergraduates and and postgraduates. And uh, often, some of the undergraduates we take on, we see that uh, they're promising students and we we sort of uh, mark them out for the future and they get invited back for interviews when suitable positions become available later in the uh, uh, later in their career okay. and one final question ross um you've had a quick look around the paddock and of course the, the beauty of formerly student in se is a huge variety of cars it does that impress you or you know does it uh, hearten you well it does i mean funnily enough in formal one we're incredibly constrained from a regulation point of view and the regulations here mainly revolve around safety, um, but otherwise they've got a clean sheet of paper. And I think the the vast range of solutions that uh, evolve uh, are fascinating. I think the other thing that's coming in now in the last few years has been the hybrid and electric cars, which uh, uh, they're showing some very lateral thinking in their solutions to those problems. So it is uh, it is it is very exciting and uh, stimulating to see the uh, the ideas they're coming up with. They they tend to get set down a path and once they're on that path they can't move from it so I think sometimes they end up in the wrong place but it's still great experience for them. Sure. Yeah. I suppose you yourself are an inspiration to many young women and, and I think young engineers how you can uh, uh, really increase and get so involved in engineering with a big team like Audi. Um, I guess do you get any inspiration from watching the kids here at either in Silverstone or indeed uh, in Germany? Well it's quite interesting that um, with the regulations as they're written for Formula Student they can really um, sort of expand their own horizons and try out different things. It's not quite like that in the real world. Unfortunately, yeah. regulations, uh, which are mainly based around sort of limiting costs and budgets, come into play. So we get, don't get to experiment with some of the things that the, the university students do. But it's um, a real eye-opener to see the imagination that's being used in some of the concepts that are put forward. I mean, that's the beauty, isn't it, really? You can actually go in the paddock and see su such a wide variety of cars. Um, you can just stand and look at them all day, really. Yeah, and um, to Talking to the students as well, they're very passionate about what they do. Um, I remember when I was at university, my hobby was was rowing. I was a cox, yeah. and I know how much time that took up. And these guys are doing exactly the same, but with a project that will set them up if they want to have a career in motorsport engineering. So it's it's quite interesting to see. Because it's more than just engineering; it's all about team um, management, team building, project managing, etc. That's something I imagine that you see a lot of in your job. Yeah, I mean, we have to obviously juggle lots of different things, uh, dealing with mechanics, drivers, um, and you've sort of got the engineers and management behind the whole thing. The pressure to win at uh, races like Le Mans because it's what represents the brand, and then on top of that, all the marketing. So there's, yeah. I guess, Formula Student on a small scale is a bit like uh, what we do on a bigger scale at Le Mans every year. So it's not just the engineering, it's things like project managing, team building, being part of an exercise, and things like that. that give the students uh, a, a perhaps a, a core strength that just sitting behind a desk doesn't maybe? Well I think um, university is a very good place for teaching you the academic backbone of being an engineer um, but it doesn't really give you all those things you just mentioned you don't you don't get a chance to work in interdisciplinary teams yes. you don't get a chance to have a very fixed deadline put on you where you have to produce a product and you, and also you don't very often at universities get a chance to apply the academic work you're doing to a real-world project sure. normally it's the first couple of years in a job where you start to acquire those skills a formula student just provides an absolutely brilliant introduction to the world of work and more specifically the world of Formula One work where, where the skills are so directly transferable. And looking at the cars themselves, over the years we see different variations uh, 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 that become apparent at the Formula Student and indeed Formula SAE events. Does that side of the event appeal to you as well as an engineer? I, it does appeal to me because it's neat and it's also um, it's continually impressive seeing, and I know how rubbish I was at their age, seeing what young people in these teams are capable of doing each year. And you, Every year the bar gets lifted another level and that's, that is properly impressive. But that doesn't the, the, the bigger thrill for me is just seeing 
groups of young people completely fired up by the sort of things that I like, the sort of things that I've had a great fun in my career doing, seeing them absolutely revved up about it, excited to be here at this event to test out the, uh, the, the product of all their labour. That's, that's where I find it really thrilling. So you must have seen a good number of students and designs come through over the years. Have you seen a, a greater sophistication of the cars or is it always the same that you get those who try very hard and those who do produce very good machines indeed? Um, there is a mix. I, I think definitely the best have got better and the and the worst have got even have got better by more if you like yes. so I think the worst cars are really quite good now um, and the best cars are really very good uh, I have seen a huge escalation in budget um, which I'm not entirely comfortable with to be honest and I I wish we could find a way to restrict the spending of some of the top teams who really are spending an unreasonably large amount of money and for sure it's one of our longer term uh, goals to make sure that a, you know a, a moderately funded UK based team can be competitive I want you know somebody to spend £15,000 needs to be able to finish in the top 10. And really with um, the project managing, the uh, time element and uh, team element, etc, etc, is, again, is that an important element for you as a prospective employer, for example? It is very much. And the, you know, the commercial side of it, so the cost event and the business presentation skills, uh, those things are really important. And as a prospective employer, particularly of students maybe whose, whose first language isn't English, you know, they're demonstrating here really good command of English and communication skills and all those things are important too. Okay. And with the communication skills, again, that's an important part of former student, which you don't, engineers on the whole are, are people who do, but not necessarily communicate that well. Is that something, you, again, you've seen um, have got better over the years since you've been involved? I, I think so. Um, I think the standard of presentation is better. And in fact, one interesting change you might see uh, this weekend as you walk around, uh, this year for the first time, the judges are going to the teams in the garages rather than the teams coming to the judges and that's important because um, we're also judging the pit the the display in the pit what it looks like how professional it looks how well organized it is is now part of the judging process um, and this is another element they have of communication of what they've done and how they've done it and, and how professionally they work John Hilton thank you very much indeed on behalf of Racetech Television no, not at all, thank you